We are still solving the OAC 2023 November December paper 2. We are on the statistics and probability section. The question number 12 says the table shows the marks obtained by 40 students in a mathematics examination. So we can see the table. If the mean of the distribution is 77 whole number 3 over 4. Find the values of x and y. So we know that the total number of students is 40. That means that when we add all of these, we are supposed to get 40. So that will give us x plus 29 to be equal to 40. And we can simplify further to get x plus y equal 11. And this one, we can make x the subject to obtain 11 minus y. And we name it equation 1. Then we can now form a table as is shown here. We find the midpoints to represent the x values from the interval given. So add this plus this and divide by 2 to get this, by that to get this. Then the difference here is 5, so keep adding 5. So plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 until you get to the last one. Then check and see whether 95 plus 99 divided by 2 will give you the final answer here. Then it means you are the right, you are on course, you are accurate. Okay, so this is the summation F. This is summation fx. So since we're given, since we're given that this is the mean, so the mean will be equal to summation fx over summation f. We substitute these values to obtain this equation. So let's continue solving. So we change the 77 whole number 3 over 4 to fraction improper fraction we obtain this then what we do is to cross multiply and expand it group like this so 311 minus 308 311 minus 328 then 8932 minus 9019 that will give us this equation which is equation 2 so the next thing we are going to do is to put uh, x equal 11 minus y into this second equation here and when we expand we get 33 minus 3y minus 17y equal negative 87 so we solve for y to get y equals 6 we put y equals 6 into this equation to get x equal 5 therefore x is 5 and y is 6 that is what we are asked to find now let's look at question number 13 the probability of obtaining a head from throwing a bias coin is 2 over 3. If the coin is tossed 6 times, find the correct to, to, to 4 decimal places. The probability of obtaining exactly 3 heads, at least 4 heads, at most 2 heads. So this is a binomial probability with n equals 6 and p is equal to 2 over 3. So the R's or the X are here. So let's begin. This is given by P of X equal R equal N combination R times P exponent R times Q exponent N minus R. So we are to find exactly 3 heads. So in this case, X equal 3. We substitute into this formula. To get 6 combination 3 times 2 over 3 exponent 3 times 1 over 3 exponent 6 minus 3. So this will simplify to give us 0 0.2195. Correct to 4 decimal places as required. Now let's look at the B part. So this is the A part. Now the B part, the B part says at least 4 heads. So at least 4 heads be at least four heads. Um, at least four heads means 
four or more so four five six so we'll do the substitution we do this formula again and this is what we get when we simplify we have to get this does mass and when we correct to um, four decimal places we should get 0 0.6804 now at most two heads at most two heads means exit zero one two so we fix in the values s equal zero s equal one is equal to into this formula and that will give us what you are seeing here when we simplify we are obtaining zero point one zero zero one three When we simplify, we are getting 0 0.1001 to four decimal places. Thanks for joining us. Please remember to share this video and also subscribe. Join us so that we finish with the part 3 in the next video.